Hi, I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to make no yeast bread. Now this is not to be confused with Irish soda bread. This is not that because with Irish soda bread you use baking soda. With, a, with this no yeast bread we're using baking powder and a milk product um, to make that activation of the, the bubbliness to make this rise. Now for ingredients, we have four cups of plain flour. It can be all purpose, it can be bread flour. Then we have one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a cup and a third of buttermilk. Now if you don't have buttermilk, don't worry. I'm going to show you how to make a quick way to have a buttermilk alternative. So we have a cup and a third of just whole milk, regular milk, and we're gonna take just a splash of white vinegar into that milk and give it a good stir. Now this is going to curdle the milk just a little bit and give it a sour flavor. That is what the buttermilk is. Now all we need to do is mix our dry ingredients together, our four cups of flour, our two teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Just mix that up really well. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our milk in here and give it a good stir and get it all well combined. All right, so this is the consistency you're looking for. If it does start to be a little bit dry, you can add a little bit, a splash of milk, um, but this is what we're looking for. We're gonna turn this out and give it a little knead on a floured surface. Not too much of a need because, uh, not too much of a need. Don't need it too much because you don't want a tough dough. The more you knead it, the uh, tougher um, and harder the bread will be. So we're just gonna knead it just a little bit. Just like that. And then we're gonna pat it down just a little bit so that it has about an inch, inch and a half in height. Like a really big biscuit. Now before we put this in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and score the top. Just make a nice big cross on the top. That way it will bake evenly. Now into a 375 degree oven. We're gonna cook it, cook it on a pizza stone, uh, but you don't need to do that. You can cook it on a regular baking sheet and we'll bake that for 35 minutes until it's lightly golden brown. All right, so we waited our time. Let's check this out. Oh boy, look at that. Very carefully, not touching that stone. Grab that. There, that looks so good. Yum. All right, let's get a slice of this. Ooh, look at that. That looks really good. Now, no warm bread is complete without a slab of butter or some jam or some honey, but oh man, I cannot wait. That looks so good. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. Now this is a fantastic bread. It is a bit dry, so adding it to a, you know, having it with a stew or with butter or jam is a great thing. This is super fast, super easy, uh, last second bread, you know, if you needed something for a, di a quick dinner. Uh, That's it, super easy. I'm Krista with The Big Family Homestead, and don't forget we have tons of other bread videos that you can check out to learn how to make bread. And you have an amazing and blessed day.